Hello and welcome to this tour of Stash, the MMORPG from Frog Dice. It is a turn-based combat MMO with a lot of very unique ideas and hopefully something really cool that you'll dig and want to play. So start off with creation. You've got a number of races you can choose from with uh, quite a few customization options. You can really make your make your character look how you want to want him or her to look. Um, I'm not going to run through them all here. We will go ahead and just jump right into the game with one of these characters. And once you're on the world map, you're kind of exploring it in a tabletop fashion. And if you jump into a dungeon here, you can see that you can look around, different places you can go, and encounters. So, as you can see, the, the grid-based style of the combat creates a lot of tactical options, potentially. Um, I've really leveled up this character just to show you, so this one's not going to be that difficult. We're not going to have a big challenge here. I'll go ahead and swap to a few other characters so you can see some other classes uh, in action. This is an elementalist in a very different dungeon, different layout, different design. And we want initiative, nice. Oh, need to get in range. And I'll swap again. This is a Lukoi Hunter in another dungeon. The Hunter is a mix of ranged and melee, and they have a lot of utility abilities for setting up the other classes as well. And one more swap to the healer. And this is a Dryad healer, just giving you a really quick look at every all the, the core classes. Now obviously the healer does a lot of healing, but also the healer is responsible for CC, uh, crowd control, buffs, things like that. But of course they can, they can do a little damage on their own too. Oh, I didn't see that guy hiding in there. I should have surveyed the battlefield a little better. Oh, oh. Now in between battles, if you want to regenerate, cast buffs, or even just role play and chat with other people, you can make camp. And once you make camp, you're the rest of your party will be in here. You can freely move around. You can do buffs and things like that. Um, it's kind of a neat place to hang out, regen, chat, socialize, all that good stuff. So then let me roll over to your boo, which is your base of operations, or basically your house. Show you a little bit about that. So it starts off as a pretty weak sauce little uh, bedroll. And when you get enough materials and you load them up in your stash, you can upgrade. Oops, that's your stash. Let's upgrade your house. A little better. A little fancier. Now we've actually got an actual structure. And let's see. We will head inside. And once you're inside, you can start doing all kinds of neat stuff. You can start building rooms and you can change the rooms around different layouts a lot of different room layouts different walls different floors you can really start to to go nuts make another room this way make this one bigger oh blue level's too low can't use that one how about this there we go and then you can even uh, decorate so I've got some furniture put in place in my stash so I can maybe make this my bedroom. 
and you can really go crazy. The amount of stuff you can do in your boo is, is massive. And the boo isn't just for looks, it's also highly functional. It's where you do crafting and a bunch of other things. So I'm placing a forge here since I've learned to be a weaponsmith. And then you click on it and you can make an item. And if you want to play one of the simple mini games, you can improve the speed and the quality of what you're crafting. There are more complicated mini games later, but this is a very low one. You're just dealing with little pop-up problems. And once it's done, you have your item. So you, you're obviously your boo will get much more detailed both inside and out as you find items and trophies and things like that. And as you explore the world, you'll go through dungeons, fight bosses, get loot, form clans, join up with other friends, use advanced tactics far more detailed than what I did, using the terrain and strategically using turn-based combat. But hopefully this gives you a, a really short and quick tour of what Stash is like. Please check out our website at stash.frogdice.com and we will have more content there. Thanks for checking it out.